Hey YouTube, long time no see, huh? Well, that's because I really haven't been focused on my weight loss journey. And I am slowly but surely making baby steps towards getting back on track. So, um, I know I did a video the other day. So, if you're on YouTube, you saw that video. And if you are on Facebook or Instagram, you won't see any of these videos until maybe a few weeks to a month from now but I wanted to come on here really quick and talk about a subject um, that I think a lot of us struggle with so I'm not really focused or my mind my environment isn't conducive to meal planning and things like that like I have so many things on my plate that when it comes to meal planning I am I get overwhelmed and so I have been skipping breakfast so I have to correct that problem so the best way for me to have corrected it is to use start drinking the premier protein shakes so some of you may know that I am a couponer and there was a really good coupon that came out somebody sent me 10 they're on sale at the grocery store for 2 dollars this week I mean, for $6.99, I'll get them for $2.99. Plus, you know, the store normally has promos like three off of 30 or four off of 40. So, like, I would be coming up on shakes. But guess what? I can't find my coupons. O M G. Where are my coupons? I don't know. So, in my head, I'm saying I don't want to buy four protein shakes for $6.99 because I can get them for $2.99 with my coupon. But then what happens when I don't pack breakfast? I go get me a coffee. I spend $1.79. And then I'm starving around 11 o'clock. So I run to Jack in the Box or I run to the sandwich shop at my job. And I happily pay seven, eight, nine dollars for that one meal. And so, you know, I was sitting downstairs and I was trying to find a coupon because I was going to go to the store tonight because I'm like, if I don't do anything regarding weight loss this week, I will definitely drink a protein shake for breakfast because I just have to start somewhere. And if I can't jump all the way back in, then at least I'm going in. Um, I'm, I'm starting somewhere and, and I'm fine with that. So I'm looking online. So I said, well, let me check eBay. And so eBay, they're like ridiculously high. And I said, well, let me go to Premier Protein website. They're high. I go to offer up. This dude is like selling a 18 pack for 20 bucks. I'm like, an 18 pack is $18.99 at the grocery store. So why would not just go to the grocery store with it? You're not offering me anything special. So I've been kind of going back and forth with myself in my head. And then I, it just hit me. If you buy these, oh, well, I went and I looked at Sam's Club because I have a Sam's Club card. And Sam's Club has the 12 pack. It's a 12 pack for like $15 or $16 and I mean I'm telling you that's the lowest price that I could find it it's like two dollars or two dollars and 25 cent per shake and I am like going back and forth with myself now mind you they don't sell the strawberries and cream at the grocery store I've never seen it anywhere but online so I'm like it's rare and then they have it at Sam's Club. I can order it online and just walk in and pick it up. And I went back and forth with myself because I was going to order. I am ordering three packs so I can have 36. That's over a month worth. So that's my breakfast every day. And then if I'm not having an appetite for dinner or I'm not eating dinner. Because I have a hard time with dinner. I'm really struggling because I have coffee in the morning. I eat a heavy, I'll snack on something out the vending machine, unhealthy, at around 11, 10, 11. I'll eat a heavy, heavy lunch at lunchtime, and then I'm not hungry for dinner. So if I could just, if I get the protein shake in there for breakfast, and I get the protein shake in there for dinner, if I'm not having a dinner at home, which I'm going to work on next, 
um, I'll have extras. But, I mean, it should have been easy for me to just enter my credit card information in, press order, and go. But, I mean, I'm telling you, I deliberated for 10 or 15 minutes. Back and forth, back and forth. I don't want to spend $45 on three protein i mean three packs of protein shakes and then i'm thinking that's 36 meals so even if i spent only five dollars a meal i'm still saving money so you know i guess what we need to get at sometimes is that you know we've been fed the idea that um eating healthy is expensive and it's cheaper to eat um the bad stuff but that's not necessarily true and so I think we need to get out of that mindset and think about the long term. So that's definitely something that I need to focus on. And I hope it brings, you know, some clarity to you guys or some um, bring some thoughts to you. I can't think of what I'm really trying to say. Maybe it gives you an aha moment, you know. So anyway, it feels good to be on my way back. I've been watching a lot of videos today from um, one of my favorites, Plus Size Kamanika. I've watched her journey for the past three years. She's been on it for five. So, you know, I've been around and I'm looking at her like, dude, girl, when you started your journey, you were over 100 pounds more than I am. And now you're like 20 pounds lower than me and we're the same height. So I'm looking at her like, gosh she looks good so I need to get back there so anyway I have been recording and I will be posting those secret videos eventually anyway um have a good day or night or whatever it feels good to be back I'm just so excited I gotta get back used to recording and in the meantime be safe God bless and have a great one